guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting and bringing to episode 3 of Grimgar, a fantasy, and Ash, a girl. Before we get started, um, don't skip anything, just start it with the Funimation logo and everything so that every part is, like, exactly where it's supposed to be, so nobody's really freaking out and wondering, like, where the hell I am and stuff. But, yes, other than that, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> okay. What the hell happened this week? Ugh. I'm so lot of stuff, but even though I eat hamburgers, like, oh, I shouldn't be hungry. I just really want a milkshake, though. Oh my god, he's making sweet. Mmm. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, I think some dudes have a really good talent for it. He had to be, like, at least going to school for cooking, possibly. I don't know. Like, because of the fact is, typically, see, what I, because mm, after what someone told me this week, do they consider the show an isekai? I kind of do, and then I kind of don't at times. But because of the fact is, we really don't know, and they don't know much about, about their past and what they were like before they came here. It's just sudden new. But to me, with him, I really think that since he likes cooking so much, um, he had to be, like, doing something with cooking before he, you know, left. Praying every school day that nobody dies in this damn anime. Don't kill anybody, please. I, like, I'd be devastated if somebody died in this group. I mean, they're all just such unique kids slash possibly adults because what's the face and him? They both look the oldest, so they could be, like, in their early 20s, maybe. I don't think anybody who's, like, over 30 is, like, in this group. I know, like, with the other show that's coming out, Summer, the mom, Isekai one, that I'll be watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having a fucking mom coming to Isekai, I can't. Uh, but please, don't kill anybody. Don't tell me. I, I don't want to know. Like, I, I just, I want to be, I don't want to know shit. I just don't want anybody to die because I like everybody in this group. <laughs> You're not going to say sorry? <laughs> I know. Just apo- Oh, shut up! Just apologize! Um, yeah, there's no police in this town. Thank <laughs> you. 
what I'm doing. Man. Yeah, it would be raining. Rain usually equals bad things, and I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. Is that a frog? That is the... I mean, it is, but that is the weirdest looking frog, though. <laughs> yeah, because since it is raining, if you decide to attack them, like eventually not probably going to work out well. Rain equals mud equals uh Maybe next time. Because of the rain. Basically. Mm. I mean, if only they had, like, um, a needle and thread, but I don't think that exists in this world because they could just sew everything up, but then possibly no one knows how to sew, so they would have to find someone to teach them. So adorable. <laughs> she probably has perfume or really nice smelling uh Good. Don't do it, Haru. Oh, hey, Yumi. Yeah. 
Tchau. Quem chegou? Mm -mm. <sighs> It's up to you. Okay. <laughs> Fucking moose. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just be careful. Jesus. I, I hope so. Yeah. It, it, hell, it's easy to attack anything in its sleep because that's when we're the most vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, Lanta was a big one. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, that's a snake. Of course. Yeah, because that would be the easiest set of. Because if there was a full group, they couldn't do it all at once. Mm -hmm. It'd just be better if they were all from their own. Or at least ten. Hmm, but that's not fair. Uh, I. Please don't eat 
talking too much. You're gonna choke like you already did. Hmm? Yeah, what's wrong? Okay, hold up. Does she do have a crush on him? Because I'm guessing. Because Yume kind of also does a little bit, but then I feel like she also likes Haru. Possibly? Mm hmm Oh. Mm -hmm. And besides, you're going to need extra skills just in case. What if you guys decide to go against like an ogre? Something bigger rather than goblins. I mean, goblins are good, yes, but sometimes you want to go for bigger things. So an artist and a cook. Mm -hmm. God, she is so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, because she had her just really shy and she just likes talking to you. Okay. It's so cute. Like best friends, sisterly vibe. <laughs> like. True. I mean, Manito is like the glue that holds everybody together. So, if someone were to die in this show, my money's on Manito because if he dies, the group just breaks, and the dynamic and the change of it is going to be off. And especially if they have like someone new come in, possibly. But I don't know.
But don't if I am right, don't tell me. Let me find out on my own. God, that was so pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here you get to be a completely different person that you were, in, you know, on Earth. You could have been a jerk, but hey, at least here you're nice. See, I feel like she already, she's going to get a little too attached to Monato. And that's when they're going to do it. I, I just, something in my heart, it, it just believes that it is Monato. But I honestly, like with this show, like I said, I don't really want anyone to die. But if it had to, it's going to be him. It, it's just, like I said, he's the one who holds everyone together. He's the leader of the group. And when you take the leader out, everyone else just crumbles under the pressure and just the dynamic of it is going to be really off. But I mean, they're a good group. I just, mm, my heart right now. And I want to cry about it like so bad. But at the same time, like if I am right, please don't tell me, let me just find out on my own because I don't want anyone to be like, yeah, you're right on this. If you're like, shut up. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> I can call out something, even if I've never looked at anything, source material, what, it's just, you know, don't be like a certain show that comes out on Sundays and people are like, oh, I don't like the fact that she's right, she's trying to write about these because she's clearly read the manga, even though she hasn't. No, it's just a guess. A guess is nothing but a guess. I could be right and I could be wrong. Just don't tell me until I find out myself. But I'm happy that Haru got some, <laughs> some fucking underwear. I mean, hey. But still, like, 25 for fucking underwear? I mean, not, not only underwear, but still, I mean, damn. When you come to something like this, and I'm thinking, like, here, like, if you go to the store, I'm guessing, like, how much? It depends on how many, like, pairs. But, like, for one pair, she wanted 25 that, to me, is a little ridiculous and kind of overpriced. But at first, the first price was 30 and then she was like, well, you know, if it was brand spanking new, it would be 100 But then if you go to the store, depending on how many pairs of, like, what, shirts, underwear, bras, um, tank tops, whatever you buy, it, it's going to be more of that price. I mean, like, let's say, like, I, I kind of think about this. Like, if I was talking about underwear... And I was buying, like, three or five pairs. Like, you can get something, like, mm, it depends on where you go. Um, like, if you went to Walmart or the Dollar Shore, Family Dollar, Dollar General, anywhere, you're probably looking at, like, maybe three or five dollars, depending on how much you get. But then if you get more, you're going to probably look at, like, ten. And then that's kind of the same thing with, like, bras if you were going to I know this is a really weird like <laughs> moment but I just gotta talk about it if I was going to like uh Ashley Stewart yeah I'm paying like almost $30 for just one but then if I'm getting four I'm probably paying about like 60 but 
it, it's the world of money and prices and issue, but I, I can understand it. But damn, like, to me, that's expensive as fuck. But, like, mm, when you're trying to compare it to a, the U.S. dollar or um, euros or yen or anything, you're, like, thinking, well, how much would that be in this or this and this? Like, it's probably not as much. That could be, like, $4 or something. I don't know. That's just a guess. But... Oh, God. I, I just, I love the show so much. And they're just a really good group. The dynamic is good. The chemistry between everyone is good. I do like, um, Shiro, Shiro, oh my God, I cannot pronounce her name right. Um, she's just so cute to me. And I feel like if Manato is going to die, it, she's going to be the one who is going to be heartbroken the most. She's going to try to get close to, to him. As Yumi is like, well, you know, maybe you should um, be more outspoken and stuff. And try to talk to everyone. She's going to talk to him. They're going to have, like, kind of a, like, kind of maybe a relationship. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then they'll kill him off, maybe. And I don't think she'll be... I don't, I don't think she'll have, like, PTSD from it, but, like, she'll be a little depressed about it. That's the thing. And if somebody does come in, maybe that's when people might... People in the previous group might step up and somebody might be a, the next leader, which could possibly be Haru. My thing is that I want to know, the journal that he's writing, because that's clearly a diary or a journal, um, are we going to ever find out whatever he's writing about, possibly? It could be just his daily things, like what we did today, how today was, da, 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 or, like, okay, for the last few episodes, or, like, the last two days, it's been raining and a half, we haven't gotten money, da, 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 savings, this, is that, and the third, and such, but I don't know, I mean, anything could literally happen with this show, it's only really episode three, and I'll be on episode four, probably by, like, Saturday or Sunday, I'm guessing, um, and, I mean, it's still, it's good, nothing bad has happened yet, but, um, it just still the dynamic and everything of how I personally feel about it. Something is going to happen. And there's going to be a time where they're probably going to do it like the group from um, Sora Online with, who uh, the Kirito joined. And they were like, oh, instead of going our usual route, let's try something else. And that something else might be their downfall. And not everyone will make it out alive. And it'll just be dawning on them that yes somebody in our group possibly died or has died and there's nothing else that they can really do about it they can't i don't know it's just my heart and i don't i want to stop thinking about this like honestly because i'm making myself upset about it and i don't want to make myself upset but i just really like these characters and I'm going to be emotional when it comes, because I'm not ready for it, even as of now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 3 of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day from the Macho Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday for the Patreons. And on Tuesday for everybody else for episode 4. Bye, guys.